how to wire and install any two pin power or reset switches for any computer system. The motherboard I am currently using is the ASRock H110 Pro BTC and I will be referencing the wiring diagram in my manual. What you want to do is take a look at your motherboard, locate the model right there, model and manufacturer ASRock H110 Pro BTC. If you don't have the manual, you would like to download the PDF online and I'm going to go into it. I took an inspection of the motherboard first and if you look on the bottom right you can see a little indication reading reset and PWR BTN power button and reset button and that's the terminal board so here I have an overview of the motherboard itself where I located the power button and reset switches it was right there where 13 is indicating so I'm going to go into my manual and see what 13 stands for. So in a description, number 13 stands for System Panel Header, in parentheses, Panel 1. Alright, starting from the left side, we can read we are in the section for System Panel Header, which is your 9-pin panel, panel number 1. It says, see picture number 1, which I just showed you, which was the overview of the motherboard, number 13. And we know now that number 13 stands for system panel header. So now looking in here towards the middle, over here, where now we can physically see the nine pins and know what they stand for. So let's go starting from the, from the top, top row, uh, counting from the right, from the right side to the left. So right here, we're gonna start here. All right, that's your ground. First pin right here is your ground labeled right there. Uh, going to your left side, if you read up, that's your PWR BTN, which stands for power button. So these two terminals right here is going to be your power. Notice that there's a empty space here, which will just help, which you could just use as a reference to help you locate it on the motherboard itself. Next, we're going to go counting uh, the bottom row, starting from the right side towards the left. So the bottom, the bottom right two pins right here, this one, this is going to be a ground as labeled, okay? And going to the left of it is going to be your reset. So these two terminals, it's going to be your reset. Before making our connection, we're going to take a look at the opposite end of our switch. And if you look closely right here, you will see an arrow. This arrow stands for your positive side in most cases. From my experience, installing this switch will only work one way. This arrow must be lined up with the ground side of either your reset or your power switch. So here we are at the system panel header on our motherboard. So if we count from the top right, we're going to see we're going to have a missing pin right here in the corner. So we use that as reference. And we're gonna know that these top two right here is gonna be used for power. And it's as simple as pushing it in. Uh, to wire the reset, we use the same type of switch. And counting the bottom rows, we know that those bottom two uh, is those can be used for reset. Uh, remember to line up your arrow with the ground. So, that's it. There you have it. Happy New Year's, guys. If anybody found this video helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And if anybody's interested in purchasing these exact same ATX switches, the link will be in the description. Thanks for watching.